Today I'm coming in with the part 2 of this mini-series of 5 guns that I want to see return in Black Ops 3 Zombies with DLC 5. Now we did one for Kino Der Toren and you guys seem to like it and wanted me to continue the series and here I am with the second episode. And also, if you don't know, DLC 5 was confirmed by ESRB and the reveal is happening this coming Thursday. So I will leave both video links in the description but it is time to be hype. And today I'm going to be picking up 5 of my personal personal favorite guns from Mob of the Dead that I want to see back in Black Ops 3 with Mob of the Dead Remaster within DLC 5 Expansion Chronicles like my mind is blown right now and I am really really hyped you can also let me know your 5 guns list from Mob in the comment section down below and just a quick note uh, you don't have to say the Wonder Weapon because I'm pretty sure the Wonder Weapon will be in there there is no doubt that our beloved Blunder Gat and the alternative version of it the Vitrolic Withering won't be there it surely will but let's get this started hey everybody what the heck is going on my name is Usman and let's just get right into it if you're new to the channel definitely do consider subscribing for daily videos like this one and let's kick this off with the M19 27 aka the Tommy gun you thought I'm gonna miss it absolutely nie. now I guess it's safe to say that this is everyone's favorite wall gun in mob of the dead and mob of the dead won't be the same without us having the Tommy gun right and the good thing is that we have it remastered already in black ops 3 zombies if you remember revelations in that when you do the chalk easter egg it reveals the Tommy gun wall by in revelation de area and it definitely is so 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 due to the fact that it can be pack-a-punch and can have new Black Ops 3 Zombies PAP abilities like we can have dead wire, blast furnace, etc. And that's just a glimpse for what we're going to see with DLC 5 and I am really, really excited. Now, the Tommy gun can only be found at the docks in Mob of the Dead, the original one, and it costs 1,500 points. And it comes with 350 bullets in reserve and 50 in the mag. And when you PAP this B, it's called the Speakeasy and gets 400 ammo in reserve and 50 in mag but however the remaster version in black ops 3 zombies is a little different and i am glad to say that it is different it starts with the same amount of ammo but when you pap it not only it gets more ammo but it has a new name what it is it's called the untouchable and gets 500 ammo in reserve and 100 in mag which is just so so sick and we're definitely going to be seeing this again next one i got on the list is the uzi you, you thought i'll miss this Heck no, man. Heck no. This one is the second special gun that makes Mob of the Dead. And I'm going to be honest. I'm not sure if this will happen or not. It may or may not. But I definitely would love to see this back. So Treyarch, please just, like, give us what we want. It has a really unique feel. And the gun sound is just oof. And I also have to say the same for the Tommy gun as well. And the Uzi is a really strong wall gun. And it just matches the dark theme of the map perfectly. It also has... 725 or I should say 275 ammo in reserve completely just like flip that around and uh, it has a small clip of 25 and when you pap it it's called the Uncle Gal. Uh, I'm not totally sure who Uncle Gal is. I'm definitely going to be learning some more story easter eggs before DLC 5 drops. I am just so so hype and when you pap it it's not anything crazy. Of course the damage will double but you get one extra mag ammo. Basically it has 300 ammo in reserve and 25 in mag. Nothing too much but it's the goddamn Uzi and the pack punch camo looks so so good I hope this pack punch camo is the the same in mob of the dead remaster or maybe have the shadows of evil camo because that's the closest one but I really do hope it's the same camo that is much more brighter aka the remaster one and in my opinion the Tommy gun Uzi and the blunder get alone makes the map so much better in terms of its dark team and we know we'll see the one rapid and the Tommy gun that's for sure now the third gun I have on the list is the mtar i want this thing back although i feel like we will never see this again but in the words of jason blendell never say never right so um i don't know i have a weird feeling that we will see the m27 because that is in the black ops 3 files and it makes sense that we can see uh m27 remastered in nuketown but hey if we don't see mtar back in uh, mob of the dead or back in black ops 3 in some way shape or form if we don't i would gladly go with m27 
27 but the mtar is just so so slick in my opinion i love the iron sights i love it when it's pap normally it has 240 ammo in reserve and 30 in mag and when you pap it it has such a long name which goes like malvolent taxonomic anodized redeemer and it gets a slight bump in ammo it has 360 in reserve and 30 in mag nothing too significant but hey i really love this gun i also did love this gun back in black ops 2 multiplayer and in zombies especially in mob it's such a great gun that gets mixed in with the map so perfectly and i guess part of the reason is the the mob of the dead pack a punch camo i guess that's what it is now before we move on i quickly want to give an honorable mention to my boy barrett i i know it's like the worst gun ever or the second worst gun ever in black ops 2 zombies but hey this was the sniper that was worth getting to do the jump scare easter egg in mob and i feel like svg is going to replace it in black ops 3 zombies draken would definitely be cool as well but nothing beats the barrett for this jump scare in my opinion but i i just wanted to give it an honorable mention and i just want to know if you guys think the same as me but let me know in the comments and number four on the list is the l set now i love this lmg the way it looks the ammo hanging out it is just a quality beautiful looking lmg although i don't think it will make a return but if it does this will be so so good for mob of the dead and this was also in nuketown normally i will go with rpd but for mob of the dead especially this is the best option it has 400 ammo in reserve and 100 in mag and when you pop this boy it has 600 in reserve and 100 in mag and it's called fsirt it reminds me of everyone that just spam first in the youtube comments that's a quality meme right here ladies and gentlemen but it is really a sick gun i also want galil but we already know that is in black ops 3 so that will definitely be there but the fifth one i got on the list is the classic i know it's black ops 2 so it's not classic classic but it's a classic you know what i'm saying like it's a classic they know what's up when i have this it's a pussy destroyer aka the executioner now this is a beast i believe this is the gun or a close looking one to this one in mob of the dead intro cutscene i guess that's what it was in the cutscene it also looks like the bloodhound from shadows of evil but nothing comes close to the executioner this gun melts it has 75 ammo in reserve and 5 in mag it is basically a pistol shotgun what a name ladies and gentlemen god damn now when you pop this and have double tap this gun melts take down brutus like he's nothing it gets 100 ammo in reserve and 5 in mag once you pack punch it or 5 in mag or chamber whatever how or however or whatever you call that b but uh don't quote me on that one and it is called the voice of justice now i want to know your five guns list from the original mob that you want to see in the remastered version let me know in the comments below and if you are hype af smash a like and subscribe for more and i'll see you guys very freaking soon